I agree with Archie Calcaritas that the cause of sudden infant death, sudden infant death syndrome is acute induced uh, scurvy. I don't see it very much here, uh, but any place where you have a poor diet uh, and multiple immunizations and uh, uh, colds and stuff like that, you're likely to have this happen. Here in the United States, it's not too common because we get this tiny amount of vitamin C in our diet, whereas the Aborigines uh, were totally without vitamin C almost. And, and which is an interesting paradox because the history of vitamin C, you know, it was uh, the first double blind, one of the first double blind studies in, in um, medicine was done by this fellow named Lind, who was a uh, surgeon in, in the British Navy. And he did this study and showed that people who ate these fresh fruits and didn't get scurvy. And in fact, during the war with uh, uh, France, against Napoleon, uh, they used it as a secret weapon. And Napoleon knew that the uh, British Navy was such and such a size, and so he could, they could have their ports blockaded for a certain period of time, and then they have to move, the, the, turn the ships over because the, pay, the uh, sailors would be <clears throat> dying of scurvy. Well, he didn't know it, but the British Navy, the, the limeys, were out there drinking lime juice. And so they sat there and sat there and sat there, and it, it essentially tripled the size of the British Navy. Well then, Captain Cook, Captain Cook, who was the first captain who uh, circumnavigated the globe, uh, he had a, a reputation of being an SOB, but everybody wanted to ship out with him because he had this obsession with stopping in every port and collecting fresh fruits and vegetables. And so no one ever died of scurvy who shipped out with Captain Cook. And he discovered Australia. And uh, interestingly, and uh, then the ancient Australians, uh, the Aborigines, would they would worship large trees and their nature. They lived with nature, and they knew that the population should be so much, and and they had all these natural ways of living. Well, then when white man's food was introduced into Australia, uh, then scurvy started to get rampant there, and. Uh, so it's just paradoxical that Captain Cook, who was obsessed with fresh fruits and vegetables, discovered Australia and created the situation where the Australians, uh, Aborigines, got scurvy.